Now coming from Luminar Neo, this brand new tool helps you to shape light in your photos, something we are trying to do so much as landscape and wildlife photographers. And when I honestly first saw this tool, I thought it was gonna be pretty gimmicky, um, but actually after testing it, it is really, really nice. And while this video is not sponsored, I do appreciate you using my affiliate link down below. That gets me just a couple of dollars on every sale if you do end up picking up this software. So thank you so much for using that. Now let's jump right in there and talk about what this does and the kind of photos that it's gonna work on. So I've got three images that we're gonna work on in this video here. You can all see their photos where there's already maybe a little bit of light or the idea of light in the image. And so we're, I'm gonna show you how it works on all three of these. Now, you can see I'm probably in Lightroom. I know most of you guys are probably gonna be Lightroom users. If you're a Luminar user from the start, great. You're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to use it here too. But if you are a Lightroom user, I'll show you how to launch it from Lightroom because that's what I would be doing. So go to the library module, select your photo. You're gonna right click or control click if you don't have a mouse and you're gonna go down to edit in and then hit Luminar Neo. You're gonna edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. These are the settings that I like using right here and I'm going to hit edit. Now that's gonna load this into Luminar Neo and it's gonna create a new file here in Lightroom. So then we go into Luminar Neo, let's make that full screen. And once you're here, you don't need to know how to use the software at all. It's super easy to use and I'll show you everything you need to know right here. Well, you're gonna go to edit. Now, once you are in edit, you're gonna scroll down on the right over here to creative, to light depth. Now there's a ton of features in here. Like I mentioned before, I think a lot are pretty gimmicky, but this light depth feature is brand new and it is really, really fantastic. So we'll open this up and then we're just going to increase the amount. Let's just go to 100 so we can see it happen. Now what this does is it senses the depth in your photo and it applies light to different spots in the photo. So I can adjust this to adjust where the light is hitting in my image. Now we would probably want it to be hitting that center tree to bring the most attention somewhere, maybe just on the tips of the tree, something like that. We can adjust these two bars here to make it more or less feathered. Maybe I want it to be like that. And we can increase the softness to make that effect a little bit wider there. So something probably about like that. Now you can adjust the warmth as well if you want it to be cool or you would most likely want it to be warm light. I usually just leave it right in the center. You can go down to the advanced settings. This allows you to affect the brightness near and brightness far. These are by default uh, on minus, so you're darkening uh, near and far, which helps to accentuate this light. But you can see you know, brightness near, you can darken that further. I'm just gonna leave that at the base or brightness far. You can darken that further, but let's also leave that at the base. Now I might go back through and adjust the amount just to lower this just a little bit just like that, and then we'll toggle the before and after. So you can see how we've accentuated the light just a little bit here. And when I zoom in, it's actually done a really nice job with the selection. You know, it hasn't really botched the tree here, which you would think it would have a really hard time selecting, but it's actually done a pretty nice job. So once you're done with that, you can simply just hit apply and then it will take a second to process and it saves this right back over into Lightroom. So now your new file is just right here. So I have before and after, before and after. So let me show you another example where this is really gonna be powerful. This one is gonna be even more powerful than the last one. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna right click, we're gonna go to edit in and then we're gonna go to Luminar Neo. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments once again. Now this photo is really, really gonna be cool what you can do with this because we already have a little bit of light coming down from the top. So let's go to edit. Let's scroll down to light depth. Let's just go amount 100 once again. Now we obviously don't want this light on the front of the canyon. We want it on the back where it's already hitting. So I'm just gonna drag this until now you can see I'm starting to hit the back. And I can even look at the depth mask here on my photo. I don't wanna hit this front rock right here, which is this. I wanna just have it be right behind it. So you can see if I start to go like here, it's starting to get too light in the front. So we want it to be just back there. We can maybe, yeah, bring that in a little bit, maybe increase the softness just a touch before and after. It's already looking crazy. You can see how much light is hitting back here compared to the front. It adds so much depth to the photo. And once again, the mask looks fantastic right around the edge there. So maybe I want to warm this up so we want that light to be a little bit warmer. Maybe I'll go into the advanced settings and I'm going to cool it down near. 
and I'm going to cool it down far, although I don't think there is much that's far. We pretty much are already at the back of the depth mask here. Yeah, you can see it's just that back wall. And then the brightness near, maybe we want it to be right about there. Just like that is looking really, really nice. Now, what you will notice about this photo is like this photo is already edited. Before I did any of these adjustments, this is already my completely edited photo. Um, if I was editing from scratch, you know, I could go back in there and do this same adjustment. But this really nice thing about this being a plugin for Lightroom is I can go into my photos that already exist and just make them a little bit better really, really easily. You can see that took me a matter of three minutes and it wouldn't take me one minute if I wasn't explaining it. So again, just hit apply, send that one right back over. And you can do this at any point in the editing process. I would probably recommend doing it at the beginning or at the end, um, just depending on what the photo is, but before, after. And you can see, you know, let's compare this and just look at the mask here that it's created. I mean, the mask is pretty dang good. I don't see a lot of error in here. Yeah, it. I mean, crazy how good the masking is there. Um, I didn't expect the masking to be so good, but it works really, really nicely. Let's look at one more photo here. We've got this kind of wide angle standard landscape shot that a lot of you guys are probably used to shooting. We'll go to edit in Luminar Neo again, copy with Lightroom adjustments, hit edit, and let that open right up into Neo. Again, we're going to hit edit here. And then we're going to scroll down once it loads in. And this is going to be really nice. This is, you know, this is your standard landscape photo. So you're going to find this to be your standard use for this, which is going to be really nice. So let's just do hundred again. Now we can drag the light around to where we want it to hit in our photo, you know, all the way up here, it's hitting in the clouds. Now we're hitting on the mountain. Now we're hitting kind of right before the mountain and we probably want it about right at the base of the mountain, like right in there. Let's toggle this before after. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's go back down to additional settings and let's increase, let's just zero out brightness far and zero out, or maybe we want a little bit of dark and near about 15 minus 15. And if you want to adjust the temperature, you know, you could warm up the light there that's hitting and then cool down the spots where the light is not hitting once again. And it's looking really good. And once again, it's made a really, really nice adjustment. You know, you couldn't do this easily in Lightroom. So if I zoom in here and I toggle this, you'll notice it's behind the cactus here. And the mask actually looks pretty good. You know, there might be a few small errors, but I don't mind it hitting the edges. And it's done a pretty good job there in the photo. And that just helps to add a little bit of light, kind of make my photo look a little bit more dynamic and a little more three-dimensional. Um, and it I just think it looks really, really nice for how little time investment you need. I probably made this video in less than 10 minutes and you can see I already did three photos. I could have probably done five photos if I you know, wasn't showing you how to use this and just plugging away at my own speed. So really, really easy to use. Hopefully that helps and hopefully you guys will check this out. Like I said, Luminar Neo has a couple nice tools including this and that sun rays video um, that I'll show you how to use here if you wanna check that out. But there is a few good tools in there, a lot that are a little gimmicky, um, but if you are someone who wants to spend a little less time editing, you know, Luminar Neo does have a lot of automated features that can really make editing really quick and easy. I do think, like I said, this light depth is a really, really cool feature, and I do think we're gonna continue to see more software, maybe even including Lightroom in the future that are gonna use these things called a depth map where they uh, look at the image and they determine the depth in the photo, which allows you to create a mask to a certain depth. So hopefully that's something we're gonna see more of in the future. This is certainly a great start, works a lot better than I would expect it to. And I think it works really, really well here in Luminar Neo. Like I said, I do greatly appreciate it. If you guys use my link, that'll get me a really small kicker. If you're gonna pick this up, no pressure. You definitely don't need it, but it is a cool tool if you like this video and you wanna try it out. My name is Austin James Jackson. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video today. If you have any questions, comments, or if you've tried this tool yourself, let me know down below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.